Welcome back everyone. So far, we have learned about three hooks. Use state, use effect, and use context. Now, it's time to learn yet another hook, and that is use reducer. In this video, I will briefly talk about the what and why of use reducer. After that, we will go over the concept of just reducers in JavaScript. Understanding what a reducer is will be crucial in understanding the use reducer hook. The details and examples, which we will take a look at in the subsequent videos, will be much easier to understand once we grasp the concept of reducers in JavaScript. Alright, let's begin. What is use reducer? Use reducer is a hook that is used for state management. Now wait a minute, don't we already have use state for state management? Well, that is correct. Use reducer is an alternative to use state. Your next question might be, so what's the difference between the two? Well, use state is in fact built using use reducer. So use reducer is a more primitive hook compared to use state. That brings us to the most important question. If both are meant for managing state, when should I use one over the other? Unfortunately, right now, we are not in a position to understand the answer to this question. So what we are going to do is come back to this question after we go through all the examples. We will be in a much better place to understand the answer after we understand the various details about use reducer. So for now, I want you to remember just the one line. Use reducer is a hook used for state management in React. Next, let's move on to the topic about reducers. All the hooks we have learned so far kind of have a meaning behind their names. Use state is related to state, Use effect is related to side effects and use context is related to the context API, which means use reducer is related to reducers. But what is a reducer? Let's understand that. This is the point in the video where I have to mention that you don't have to know Redux to understand the use reducer hook. Having said that, if you do know Redux, you're going to have an easier time understanding the syntax and the examples we will be learning in the upcoming videos. For those of you without any knowledge of Redux or don't know much about reducer functions, I recommend you continue watching this video. Now, if you go back to vanilla JavaScript, you might have played around with some of the built-in functions on array instance. For example, for each, map and reduce. Let's dive a bit deeper into the reduce function. I'm here at the MDN docs for array.prototype.reduce. If we read the description, it says the reduce method executes a reducer function, which we provide of course, on each element of the array resulting in a single output value. And there is an example provided for better understanding. First, we have an array of four numbers, one, two, three, and four. Next, we have a function called reducer, which accepts two parameters, accumulator and current value, and returns a single value, which is the summation of the two parameters. In the next line, we have the log statement with the function call. Array one dot reduce and we pass in the reducer function. The function will sum up the array elements and we have the output as 10. And in the next log statement, you can see we have the second form of the reduce method, which accepts an initial value for the accumulator parameter. This time, the summation will be 10 plus the initial value of 5, which is 15. Now, if you're not so used to the reduce method, don't worry about it. All I want you to remember is two points. 
The reduce method takes two parameters. The first parameter is the reducer function and the second parameter is an initial value that the reducer function can make use of. The reducer function itself again accepts two parameters and reduces them down to a single value and then returns that value. In our example, the reducer takes two values and returns one value which is the summation. Now why did we learn about this? Well, it turns out there is a huge similarity between what we just learned and the use reducer hook. The difference of course is use reducer is more concerned with react. With the reduce method, we have two parameters, a reducer function and an initial value for the accumulator. Similarly, with use reducer, we again have two parameters. The first parameter again is a reducer function, but the second parameter is the initial state. With the reduce method, the reducer in its simplest form will accept two parameters, which are the accumulator and the item value, and returns a single value. With use reducer, the reducer function again accepts two parameters, but this time the parameters are the current state and something called as an action. And the reducer will return a new state. To put it roughly, the action parameter is what dictates the state transition from the current state to the new state. And we will talk more about that when we take a look at the examples. Next, let's talk about the return value. The reduce method returns a single value. Use reducer hook, on the other hand, returns a pair of values. The new state and something called as a dispatch method, which is basically used to specify the action. Now, this might be a bit overwhelming to understand, especially if you're going through this for the first time, but there is no need to panic you will definitely get hold of what we are talking about as we go over the examples in the subsequent videos. For now, I hope the syntax, the what and the why of use reducer should be clear to all of you. Let's take a look at the summary. Use reducer is a hook that is used for state management in React. Similar to use state being related to component state, use effect being related to side effects, and use context related to context API, use reducer is related to reducer functions. The use reducer hook will accept two parameters, a reducer function and the initial state. The reducer function also accepts two parameters, which are the current state and the action. Depending on the values of the current state and the action, the reducer function will return a new state. So, use reducer is basically changing the state in React components. All right, with this introduction in mind from the next video, let us understand with examples the different details about the use reducer hook.